So um, we all, then that means we have another problem in the black community, that's mental health. Yes, sir. Okay. Is that a majority of what you think you come across, I mean, in the prison system and as far as some, a lot of the cases that you come across that there are a lot of un, unaddressed uh, mental health issues that ultimately cause people not to care? Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you from my, I've had people in my family that have suffered with mental illness very close. We all have. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, brother, what was told to me growing up every time you, someone was mentally challenged in some way. We, we got this old wives tale in the black community. Oh, he went to the club when he was young and somebody put something in his drink. Right, right, right. I had a dollar. But every time I heard that story growing up about a relative that was faced with those challenges, I'd be rich. Mm -hmm. You gotta let that stuff go. Mm -hmm. It's not no, nobody puts something in somebody's drink. That's, that's just an old, that's some old folklore that, you know, we came up with because we're ashamed of it. Right. I've had to take my relatives and, you know, um, and sit down with them with these, with these therapists, which is the most important part. It's not the dope. Everybody thinks it's the dope that, that, you know, gets people back. You know, I'm talking about the medications they give you, that they give everyone. You've got to have aggressive one-on-one -on -one therapy. Mm -hmm. It's the most important component. And we as a community, I would love to get involved with that more because it's touched so many of my family members on both sides. I mean, you have at least one on each side. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't want them to fall into the homeless ranks and be out there in the street. We got to get honest about this. Mm -hmm. We don't go get help. 